Am I the butthole for telling my mom we haven't had a good relationship in a long time and I wanted to go live with my dad? I, 16 female, used to have a good relationship with my mother. That has since crashed and burned since she dated and married my stepdad Gary six years ago. Gary treats his son Ian, 19 male, like he's the center of the universe and expects my mother to as well, so she does. Anything Ian wants, Ian gets and that usually comes at the expense of me. Ian wanted my room when they moved it? I was forced to go to another room to make the transition easier for everyone. Ian wanted a car for his 16th birthday? I didn't get braces for another year. Ian wanted to go on an expensive trip for spring break? I had to give up volleyball to make it happen. Ian wanted to have his side of the family over? I was expected to find somewhere else to be, since I wasn't family. My mother just went along with all of this and acted like it shouldn't affect me at all. My dad was overseas for a long time, and we used to FaceTime and he was so upset by what he was hearing. He's home now and he's offering to have me come live with him. I'm not seeing a reason not to go, and so I told my mom I wanted to go live with my dad. She predictably freaked out and asked why I'd want to do that and said that we had such a good relationship, she didn't understand how this came so out of the blue. I told her that we haven't had a good relationship since she blindly decided to follow Gary's lead and give Ian anything he wanted, and it always came at my expense. My mom tried to argue so I said, I also wanted to leave because she let them kick me out of my own house because I wasn't family so I was going to go live with someone who was. My mom started crying and said she wouldn't let me go, so I told her that my dad was willing to go to court over it and I was old enough to be able to say where I wanted to be. She's been a crying mess since I told her and Gary is being a jackass about how awful I'm being. Here's where I might be the butthole. He was bitching at me about how terribly I'm treating them and how I'm not thinking about them at all. I asked why I should, he never thought of me when he was taking things from me to give to his kid. I said let's face facts here, you don't care about me, what you care about is losing the child support you spend on your son. He sort of went slack jawed and I walked off. My dad said my mom called and threatened to take him to court, so he said he'd see her there. Now she's panicking because she realized he's planning on taking her to court over this. Mom and Gary of course think I'm the butthole for making things hard for everyone, but my dad and grandparents say to leave and never look back. Am I the butthole for wanting to get away from this situation? NTA. I think you hit the nail on the head when you said he was worried about losing your child support. I hope your mother has a Han because she is going to have to pay child support to your dad. Exactly. The expensive vacation, his car, and God knows what else for Ian, was likely taken out of the child support for her. That's her money. Gary is big mad because his free money is being taken away. Up, let them stay mad. Take care of yourself, and let your dad take care of you too. Nothing that's happening is your fault. Be well, and best of luck. Hopefully not only will he lose that child support but with any luck they will have to pay support to Op's father and he can recoup some of what was spent on Ian. If it could be proven, maybe they could also sue for the child support that never went into the child in the first place, though I'm not a lawyer so I am unsure if this could be proven. It's, unfortunately, almost impossible to prove that. Would auditing be an option in this case? Child support generally gets pooled with all other family money and how do you prove what was spent on who? I mean, paying a mortgage or an electricity bill is a legitimate use of child support. As far as I know, no expertise here just general knowledge. If they wanted to go the auditing route it would probably be really easy to see that they stopped paying for volleyball about when somebody wanted to go on an expensive trip. Or that only the stepson got a car and braces were pushed back which can probably be proven with documentation. If all of the money was being spent on Ian and Ian has material things to prove it and original poster has nothing, the audit would only be a matter of how deep they wanted to dig since it sounds the majority of it was very materialistic. Hard? Yes. Impossible to see who it was spent on? No. I am an expert and you are very correct. Unless the child support is itemized on the judgment, dollar is to go towards private school tuition, daycare costs, etc. The payments are just being used to pay the custodial parent back for care they've already paid for, such as the mortgage for the house the child lives in, gas for the car that transports them, food on the table, etc. Best thing the op's father can do is sue for custody and ask for child support. 
He might be able to use the whole delay in getting braces against Op's mom especially if they can get testimony from the orthodontist that she was supposed to get the earlier but the family claimed financial hardship due to them getting a car for the stepson. They literally made her leave the home so family could stay there. That's abuse and that is not child support being pooled for the family money. They shouldn't get any, they made it clear she wasn't family. It might be easier to prove in this case, given that original poster actually had privileges taken from her and given to the stepbrother. It would be easier than the audit previously mentioned anyway. Especially the parts where original poster had to give up sports or didn't have permission to use her own home, basic access to which is a requirement by law in this case. Auditing is possible but will make the case more prolonged and expensive. TBH it may not be worth it, depending on what the agreed amount of child support was as well as if original poster and ops dad are emotionally prepared for that. Taking family to court is emotionally draining. Once the original poster is out, prolonging things wouldn't be a concern. She's going to end up with her dad, living a better life, while papers fly back and forth. Dad can stop paying child support as soon as she moves in and leave the paperwork to follow. I wouldn't be so sure, they deferred her braces, which were medically necessary care and bought him a new car. That would be easy to prove and very damning. I can tell you that funds from child support is carefully documented. I still have receipts, most states track the money, having taken it directly from one parent's account. A lot of it is electronic. Proving it may be easier than you think. I am a lawyer and it can be proven. Technically, original poster can sue Gary for theft of court-ordered funds. These guys don't sound remotely sophisticated, transactionally, so I doubt their bank records are in any way masked. I'm pretty sure it's obvious. Op, speak to your dad, and A, his, lawyer about it. Advice based on years of work experience about people who threaten to sue you, it's a gambit, they expect you to be cowed and back down. Good for Op's dad saying he'd see them in court and for fighting for Op. Doubt Op's mom and stepdad will have much luck in court. They will no doubt fight paying any child support for Op, which is sad because it just will underscore how little they value the needs of Op. Hope original poster and dad win. Not just that. They will likely have to start paying child support to the dad. The fact that his response was the silent shock tells you she really called his ass out. If original poster was wrong stepdad would get so defensive immediately. Nah, some people get defensive when they're in the wrong, too. It really depends on the person. This exactly. My sister was responsible for my mom's jeweler after her death. There was none of her real items to be found. When I asked her if she looked in certain places she called me everything but my name. I know in my heart she has it all but I won't be talking to her again. No jewelry is worth that abuse. I actually believe the opposite, I have seen too many times where the person in the wrong blows up defending themselves. It is rare that I see an innocent person doing that, they usually just provide proof otherwise. Just a general reminder that it's not always on the innocent to provide proof of innocence from superfluous accusations. This is one way abusers slash bullies can have others impact their victim as well and something to be aware of. Not proving your innocence doesn't equate to guilt. The dad should really go to court over the child's support, too, his daughter didn't have braces because the money paid for the stepbrother's car, and she couldn't continue extracurricular activities because the money went to the stepbrother's spring break party? She was kicked out of her home when family visited because she's not family? Oh boy, he wins 100%, custody instantaneously with that, even without her saying she wants to go live with him. Op is 100%, Right, they care about losing child support than having to pay it in the opposite direction. Clearly they rely on the money to provide their lifestyle as they have to cut things from original poster to provide it. He can't go to court. There's nothing illegal about taking child support money and spending it on something unrelated to the child. A parent receiving child support could literally not spend any of it on the child and it would be perfectly legal. There is no way to break the law regarding child support spending because there is no law related to child support spending. It is illegal not to provide a minimum standard for your child, for example if you don't give them food, that'd be illegal, but that law is unrelated to child support. Two parents, or one parent who doesn't receive child support, have to follow that same law even if there's no child support involved. He is going to court to get custody of her, which would imply that any child support he is paying her mom would stop. 
The child support money isn't the reason for legal action, it's getting original poster to a home and family that want her. Yep. My mother was the same way. Wouldn't give up custody because of the child support, while all the while being an abusive narcissist who forced me to pay for my own food and clothing as soon as I was old enough to babysit. Turned out she was stashing half that money away in a savings account for herself so that when we aged out she could still pay her bills. F parents who treat their child like a payday. That really sucks, geez I get, not much, child support and it goes on groceries or things for my kids, I can't imagine seeing it as my own income, I'm sorry you went through that. You may want to ask other people from the government. I vaguely remember a similar situation. The father had the child's back 100%. He did not take the kid, but he also would not force him to leave. The police came and it was a bit of a standoff. The father was not in trouble. The kid did not want go to his mom and he refused to go. The police were saying something along the lines if she forcibly tried to take him she would be in some trouble and possibly be arrested. You may be able to get out of there before a court date. You may have more options than you know. You can call some local government departments and try to get some information. Well, well, well. If it isn't the consequences of my own actions it's funny how many we see the Oz surprise Pikachu face fur things they should have realized were effed up. Op should definitely live with her dad ASAP and her dad should definitely get back the money that was wasted on a child not his own not the butthole. This was a gifted comment, so kudos for that. I am also sorry you have to go through this. If your mom continues to fight this, suggest she works with a financial planner because you turn 18 in two years anyway. The money will stop sooner than later. They need to figure that out. Not the butthole. Yep, op, don't wait for Gary to pick his jaw up off the floor. Just get out and sort out visitation later. As someone who's cut off a bunch of blood relatives because of how terrible they were to me in childhood, go for it. Life is so much better once you feel like your feelings matter. Not the butthole, go to your dad's house. I'm so sorry this is going on. And make sure the judge knows about all the suspiciously expensive items Ian is getting. That money is your child support, I guarantee it, and you've had to give up items that should be bought with that money. I'm enraged on your behalf. Judges don't like that, either. Ever. Judge will drag your mother across the coals, and it'll be well deserved. She failed you. Big time. So, I just want to tell you that I'm a random internet person, but I'm super proud of you for standing up for yourself. Gary is a crook, and your mom is helping him. Get out of that house. Not the butthole, obviously. As people usually say here, original poster document everything. Always good advice. The fact original poster had to wait another year to get braces so her stepbrother could get a car is insane. You know how much a car for a 16-year-old should cost? Max $2,000. My niece got her first car in 2020 and she paid $900. No family friend discounts, etc. and it's older than she is, but she damn happy. Yeah all a 16-year-old's car needs to do is get them from place to place. Hell. I'm 20 and still driving the junk pile I got from my grandma when I was 17. And I'm perfectly happy with it because young adults don't need fancy cars and most of us aren't responsible enough to have them. Damn I want a $900 car, I'm currently looking but it's the insurance that's the main issue for me. Anyways I highly doubt Ian needed a car as he could've just done what he did previously meanwhile original poster needs braces, also the kid's 19 so at the least he could get a job and pay for the cost of the car while the parents do insurance. They couldn't afford her sports? Why not use the money daddy gives as child support, to pay for daughter's sports? Oh yay, those extra money were just there to cushion stepson's wants in life and not to support the actual child the money is supposed to go towards. All of this just hurts me as a mom. Up, I'm so sorry. You deserve better and it sounds like dad will provide that. This is really sad but at least original poster has one parent who is willing to treat her right. There are so many stories out here on Reddit where the child has nowhere to go. Not the butthole. NTA, you have been punished for her inability to stand up to her husband for far too long. I hope that life with your dad is amazing and he treats you how you deserve to be treated. She let him force her to stop treating you as family. You owe them nothing. At all. 
From Ops account it sounds like giving the mother too much credit, doesn't even sound like she had the desire to stand up. I'm curious if her mother is one of those types that can't not be in a relationship. Those types of people cling to anyone and do whatever they need to do to keep their partner happy and with them. It's horrifying. This 100%, it is honestly so sad for these kinds of people but original poster deserves to not suffer because of this. My mom is like this to a degree. Her second marriage was to a guy who did not like my sister and me at all. I don't even refer to him as my stepdad, that's her third husband who is an awesome guy. To me he's just some butthole who was effing my mom for several years. My mom is kind of like this. My stepdad hit me over an argument he wasn't even involved in, I called my dad, my mom took his side and blamed me, she told my dad I was taking advantage of him, and they promptly kicked me out, all within 2.5 hours. Exactly this. Not the butthole original poster. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube and share them with your friends. We welcome your comments below. Press to start another of our videos.